morning, guys. What's happening? I'm not plowing some snow this morning. Uh, I just did a couple. I'm um, getting ready to go do one you guys have never seen before, so I figured uh, it's time to flip the camera on. So I don't know how much commentary I'll give you, but you guys that watched these before know I tend to go for a while. I only got about an hour worth of uh, SD card here, so we're going to do what we can do. That and my windshield mount keeps wanting to come down, so I got to keep an eye on it. This is a new one for this year. It's a uh, it's a small church. Maybe uh, two-thirds of an acre of parking lot that has to get plowed during the week. It's uh, kind of interesting here on this left side of this driveway. It's a two-lane going in, but it drops off on the one side pretty good. And it's like three lanes here because they've got like a house for an office up front, so they got a little parking area up there. It's not really a hard push, it's you know, average, I guess. It's asphalt, which you'll see here in a minute once I get some of it scraped away. But there's some rough concrete here in the back, and hopefully, it's not so rough that it earthquakes you guys down to the ground. We're getting ready to hit that rough concrete. This edge of it isn't bad, but. slow in here this morning. We haven't had any snow for over a week. So there's, uh, it's been warm. I'm afraid that concrete's heaved up back there. That and the asphalt's probably where it's in bad shape. is probably popping up too. So, hope everybody's doing good. Uh, get ready for the uh, comments on telling me how to plow snow after 25 years. I guess I still do it wrong, but we're still doing it. I'm really not in a rush this morning. I take my time for the most part. I kind of do a a loop back here and go out the same driveway that I came in and windrow because it really sucks back and back out into the street because about 4 35 o'clock in the morning the street starts getting busy out there and it's it's kind of a bottleneck so I just turn around and head out so I can only have to make one more push in Good mornings to do snowplow videos when it's not snowing like hell because you guys can actually see out the windshield without the wipers bouncing off of it constantly. I'm going to stop right here. Wait for traffic, of course. It's five minutes after four in the morning and I already got people. I got this vacuum mount windshield suction cup and it's not a cheap one by any means but I just washed the windshield the other day and boy that sucker does not want to stick. I only got roughly three inches of snow and I had some dude come back and out of a very short driveway this morning at a very high rate of speed thinking he had to blast through the snow 
driving an all-wheel drive car nonetheless. Kind of cracked me up. It's like, whoa, dude. Slow her down. Not like we got six feet of snow. There's a sidewalk over here somewhere. But it's really hard to tell because this is one of those where kids walk by going to school and they pull my snowplow markers out and use them to sword fight with, which I think is quite comical, but it is what it is. This driveway drops about five and a half feet on this left hand side over here. Right by this telephone pole, you can see it. It's a slow grade here, but the asphalt drops straight off. My plow markers are kind of in the side of a hill there. I think the driveway takes as long as the whole rest of the place does sometimes, especially when there's a lot of traffic. of this driveway where it drops off like that. They got like a guardrail along the woods. And the asphalt stops and they've got gravel and well, I guess we'll just call it gravel. I don't know what else to say. It's rough. So I try and roll the snow but hear that? Tree branches. I love it. I did get them to fix a storm sewer catch basin that's back here. So I didn't rip it up this winter but unfortunately they didn't get any of the tree stuff trimmed back which maybe I forgot to ask this is one of those properties that almost like time forgot it the, the woods is starting to eat the parking lot on the edges snowing yesterday about four in the afternoon and nothing was sticking so the ground was really wet there's that catch basin jerking the truck all over the place so as soon as I scrape this off it gets really slick underneath Ugh. clear this going off this way because out in the yonder where that parking lot light is and the dumpster over there that part of the lot is gravel and we only plow that for Sunday service here the power company has that building back there and there's a well, I guess a substation over there so they use it during the week I try not to mess with it I try to let them let them pack it down over there because it's really what I would call uneven gravel. Looks like we got a little more snow here. We had a lot of wind last night, so we had a lot of drifting snow. This place doesn't seem like it got the drift. It's sort of protected, but I'm going to have to take you guys off of that camera mount. It keeps looking like it's getting ready to let go. Somewhere right in here, it gets really busted up. Oof. I really don't want that camera to come crashing down. You guys are going to be like, shut up already about the camera. It's about the last push on it. Get in here. Ooh. I want to grab right there. asphalt in the snow power in here. Let's look at something here real quick. I can't understand why this thing keeps about every minute I'm pushing on the plunger to get it to suction back to the window. It's a 
a shame too because that's the best smell. The one that goes on the seat back will shake your brains out. I don't know what this building was originally. It was renovated into a church 20 years ago, 18 years ago, 15 years ago, I don't know. But it's a the back half of it's almost like a Quonset hut. And then the front half is an actual uh, cement block building. Notice I can't even get up right against the building. They've got downspouts that come off the roof that drop right in the parking lot. So I have to kind of swoop around those. Be nice and turn my headlights off for these people sleeping in their apartments over here. things up a bit but so not a lot's been going on just uh, chugging through the holidays and keeping up with a couple of kids at home and trying to uh, live life just like everybody else so appreciate all the PMs and everybody wondering where I've been and this that and the other but that's kind of what's been going on I try to answer still answer questions as much as I can but really haven't had any new content body work wise to put up so I haven't really had anything to video have a couple of snow piles here at the end that's why I'm not going balls to the wall for the end of the parking lot they're frozen solid ice there's an edge of that crummy asphalt and I'm not sure exactly why this is so nasty Other problem is the gravel parking lot. It rained a bunch too, and the gravel doesn't uh, flow real nice to the edge of this. That's the other reason I'm not interested in going into that gravel. I don't need to plow it today. It's the kind of gravel that's full of grass and weeds and stuff, so you start pushing on it, and it looks like you're turfing somebody's lawn already right there at the end where I just pushed that up there's already a big pile of it from whoever used to do this job before I got here I don't think they've ever regraded anything so it's a little rough back there all right lights camera action there's another giant catch basin that dips down on this side we're gonna back over it on the way back down this line for pushing it. This is one of those, there's really nowhere to put snow except for all along these kind of crummy mulch beds along the edge of the parking lot. I'm wind rowing the snow to the left here, but the trees hang out so far. I can't even get it out on the turf. I also straddled that catch basin perfect. 
it gets to be really annoying when you got a whole pallet of salt in the bed of the truck and you back over one of those going 10 or 15 miles an hour it's kind of hard on things basically all I do is just go around this building in a circle and then push this front parking lot off It's not very wide on either side, the, all the parking's out front, except for that gravel lot in the back, which like I said, they only use it on Sundays. decent amount of snow already this winter. This will probably be the uh, maybe 15th time I've been out. We had a decent amount in December, not depth wise, but just number of times we had to go out, either plowing or salting or both. I had to dig the old camera out of my pile on my desk and get it ready to go. See her big Looks like I left a pile of snow in the middle of the parking lot, but that's right where that catch basin is. So it doesn't scrape it, and this parking lot's got a bunch of real low dips in it too, so it doesn't scrape the snow out of them. And there's that pile of ice. So I had some pretty, pretty decent piles going, nothing too crazy before it cut loose raining on them. This is the second or third uh, week that it's warmed up into the 50s and rained and melted our snow this season, which I guess is good. Not really a huge fan of having to get in the loader and move snow piles around because there's nowhere else to put snow, but we do it when we have to. sitting on top of that pile of ice and snow. I'm not worried too much about the trail off here because I'm going to push everything this way. Can't push it the other way, otherwise when it melts it runs into that main driveway and turns it into a toboggan chute. This one this year and another really small one uh, kind of a home business type commercial place for a plumber here in town and it's really tight I'm not even gonna mess with the camera probably after this one until I figure out why that vacuum mount wants to keep coming off the windshield That's about all the closer I can get to that edge. Oop, we got these crab apple trees here that are hanging out three foot over the parking lot. You can tell where people have plowed snow into these trees over the years because the branches around the whole bottoms are tiny. And the ones on the top hang way out. And usually that's a good sign that they've had snow packed against them before try not to do that but a lot of times it is what it is you can only do so much try and straighten the blade out a little bit to get a little closer but that's about it clean that up and start making a pass across the front here I don't really like 
like scratching my truck to death. This front area that we're looking at behind the snow plow has got a bunch of overgrown burning bush and I think there's some privet or forsythia or something back there. So I don't get real close to that mess either. I try not to push snow into it. I push snow wherever I can find turf to push it onto. two driveways meet there's kind of a Y in it to keep this cleaned off so I have somewhere to back down into to push the snow across the front of this place you can see yeah, maybe you can see you guys are right in the dirty spot on the windshield but there's woods there along where that light pole is and there's a big guardrail there and the trees are just hanging out over it's not the worst i've ever had to deal with you get these calls for these driveways out in the country and i remember one i probably bought it 15 years ago we had an ice storm and i couldn't even get into it because it was beating my truck to death trying to get into it you know think about keeping your trees trimmed back until you have a storm like that and everything's in the hanging in the way. We'll make about five pushes up this way just to get enough room to back my truck up. It feels like we might have some asphalt coming up over there. This is all the deeper this front parking lot is. There's room in the middle to park cars and then they park one row along the edge. It's really quite small. If I wasn't jabbing on with you guys, I'd probably be done with this already, but all in the sake of a video. Knock on wood, truck's been doing good. Had some power steering issues, I guess you'd call it the other day. It's going down the road and kind of just lost power steering going straight not even turning the wheel but you could tell the wheel stiffened up but I still had my hydro boost brakes and it didn't throw the belt and the pump wasn't making any noise so I flushed the pump pull the line return line from the hydro boost unit off and put fresh fluid in and just keep the reservoir full and pump the brakes I should have made a video on that and fluid is pretty dirty but the relief valve sticking in it because I went to leave this morning and it didn't want to give me any uh, power steering again which I really don't want to change a power steering pump but is what it is uh, first time ever had a caliper lock up on the back of this truck and it got so bad it was dragging a pad and the funny thing was it never made any noise the whole time and I went to back up and it was like somebody had a wheel chalk on my truck. I couldn't even move it. And come to find out, the inboard pad had completely come off and I was grinding off the pistons on the caliper. Again, it would, once the pad finally came out of it, it started making noise because it was hitting the caliper pistons. And I would back up and I'd go to hit the brakes about every tenth time and I wouldn't have any brakes. Like I had a broken brake line or something. I was plowing real slow. And then the brakes would come back, which doesn't make any sense. Well, it had pushed the pistons completely out of the caliper. And they looked like, uh, they looked like, I guess, a cone or a dome by the time I got done plowing that morning. That was my last place, and it ground them just completely to hell. So, needless to say, rear calipers, rotors, pads. If 
about every two years, two and a half years, three years, whatever, I put pads in. I do the whole shebang either on the front or the back, always having a caliper that just hangs up. Sometimes it's the pads hanging up in them, other times the actual calipers get stuck. And it seems like it's always the right rear or the right front. It's never anything on the left side that fails. I watched some videos the other day about, you know, Chevy versus Dodge versus Ford type thing. And, you know, people saying, why, why buy this brand truck or that brand truck? And I've owned the Chevys and I have a couple of the Fords and I think they all got problems. No matter how good you take care of them, there's always going to be something, especially if you're working it. There's always stuff to fail. For me in this truck, it always seems to be brakes and front hub bearings, or unit bearings, whatever you want to call them, the hub assemblies. The inner pocket bearings blow out of them, and they end up blowing out this truck's to the point where the next set of bearings it's got to get stub axles on it because it's started to wear them and I polished them about as much as they're getting polished the next one that fails is going to take it out chew it up so bad I can't reuse it another reason I'm taking it kind of slow especially backing up this stuff is freezing up underneath me It started snowing it was about 37 and it's 22 now which isn't bad I don't think anybody drove on this after it started snowing yesterday which is good it's scraping up nice My SD card says I only have one minute left, so before it cuts us off, I guess I'll cut us off. So, I'll talk to you guys later, I guess. We'll see ya.